STMTL or STMLT. It's uh, it's a name that just rolls off the tongue. Look, this is a group who I feel like I've kind of been sleeping on because this keeps on coming up in my suggestions. I keep on seeing people posting about this group on our Discord and you know, I just know that they've been around and yet I have to admit I have never actually checked out their music before. Um, so here I am, finally, I thought I'll wait until I get like a chance to do a reaction video. Here I am checking them out. This is their latest song. This is called uh, Anti-Mental and this came out two weeks ago. It's already got what, 200,000 views? So it's doing really well. Um, yeah. I have no idea what to expect from this. I'm kind of guessing from the thumbnail that it might be like a like an alt idol group. I, I really don't know. I have nothing to work on here. So I'm hoping to be surprised. I mean, the fact that it's getting so many views, the fact that it's clearly coming around in a, like the suggestion threads and a lot of people talking about it, that's got to be a good sign. But as always, we're going to be honest on this channel. I'll tell you exactly what I think. I'm going to check this out now. This is the very first song I've heard by them. So whatever I react and whatever I say, feel free to suggest more songs by them anyway. But Anti-Mental, let's go and uh, see what we think. Okay. Oh my god. Feels like The Exorcist. That's cool. That's cool. A bit rap, a bit rock. Now a lot metal. Oh, okay. They're a full on band. I was not expecting this. Okay, I'm really intrigued by where. Like, the idea of this group is really effective. But we're in the uh, pantheon of pop meets metal. Do they rank? I'm loving these little rap bits. This beautiful balance between having a very melodic singer and having sort of the rap and metal singer. It's a really good balance. It's much more dynamic than most of their peers. Vocally, vocally. And I'm loving the inclusion of a keyboard player. She's got a lovely voice though, isn't she? Hearing that vibrato. Less so there, but you know, she's got some really nice vibrato on some of the notes. There's a lot in this. Okay, so I feel in a way I want to talk both about this song but also about the concept of the group because this is really interesting. Oh, nice slow down at the end. Very dramatic. Alright, I'll, I'll leave that as the keyframe while I talk about this. 
Wow, okay, that wasn't what I expected. Funny that I, I'm just gonna quickly hold up my hand and say, I don't know, has this group come up on like our Twitch suggestions before? If you follow my channel and you've seen my Twitch streams before, let me know if I've got, I feel like, I don't know whether it's just from seeing it, maybe I've heard someone talk about the group before, or maybe I've seen them a long time ago. I feel in a way like it's familiar, like the thing about having the two singers and the band, but I don't know, maybe, maybe look, let's just get onto this. Let's talk about this um, because um, look, this was actually much cooler than I expected. Now, there's a lot of things to talk about here. Now, first of all, I have to give massive credit to the fact that I really thought it was effective. You know, it was doing a certain type of metal that I'll go into a bit more detail about in a bit. But it's the, the thing that really worked for me is up front, you've got these two singers. Um, one of them is singing clean and with a lot of power i you could say if you want I, I don't want to do too many comparisons but it might be worthwhile adding some comparisons just while we try and sort of break down what this is because as i said it's such a huge pantheon of pop j-pop meets metal groups ever since baby metal uh certainly ever since baby metal at very least um that you really have to sort of pick out where each one of these whether it be passcode lady baby whatever where each one of these actually fits into that where each one does their own very different version of fusing these two things together um and hannah beer's one that i'll talk about as well because uh, that's a good comparison but in this particular case the two lead singers you've got the clean lead singer beautiful voice kind of what she was doing was somewhat reminiscent of what sue from babe metal does and kind of having that strong but also very poppy style of singing and i, I don't say uh, poppy in a, a pejorative sense i've got nothing against pop as anyone who follows this channel knows um it's, she's got that strong but clean melodic sort of high but very soulful style of singing that um so she does feel a sort of a, a sue like role in this group the other singer though really impressed by that she's doing a mixture of rap and sort of the screams now i will say that obviously the the rap stuff was fairly simple but it was interesting to have that sort of rhythmic style of delivery it's not like we're expecting it to be a full-on complicated rapper and um people who are more into the scream stuff can maybe tell me what they think of that but i thought it was really interesting having a vocalist who could do those two alternate styles i've often made a comparison to the niches of having scream vocals and rap vocals because there's a lot of people who especially when you're on a channel like this where we're mostly rock focused you get you occasionally talk to people who are like oh i don't like rap i'll never listen to rap i don't want to listen to anything with rap in or oh, i just don't you know, like it um but you know i think scream is often the same thing you know some people it's just like oh i don't want any song with that and i tend to be more into rap but the scream stuff i tend to look at it the same way although often there's some music i like with scream stuff in most of the time i don't i try to see them as mirrors of each other and that they both have their places where they work but if you overdo it then you can alienate people what was interesting here is because she was bouncing between the screams and the rap vocals i felt like it was it kept it um it kept variety but it wasn't too much of either it just felt like the song was like playing with lots of ideas vocally so having the core singer given that beautiful melody which really sort of drills into your brain and gives that whole uh, emotional narrative to the song and then having the other singer doing something really interesting which is taking to all these different places and like giving you these different varieties of vocals that really worked for me i thought that was great now when we look at the larger band arrangement um gra always glad to see a keyboard player especially when you've got dramatic music like this where you know you're going to want to use other sounds not just the core um rock sounds you're going to want to have like uh, keyboards and effects and strings have a keyboard player it's better than a backing track keyboard can play any sound you want it to so i really enjoyed the inclusion of having a keyboard player in there i thought that was brilliant really for me elevates the band a lot um but the rest of the band were really solid as well definitely though the style of metal they were playing is that sort of really sort of produced guitars very you know, you know guitars are distorted but it's a very sort of clean production style um and as a result i kind of felt like this was um it was a very sort of clean cut sort of production very heavily produced again i don't mean as a pejorative i mean that just as a sort of a stylistic observation um i've got nothing against that i actually i actually quite liked that i think that the only problem you get with that very produced guitar sound is that sometimes if you get a whole album of it it can get a bit tiresome so i hope that their songs have a little bit of variety between them and just as this song had variety from its beginning to its end i hope that that variety then further expands onto the rest of their stuff um Although sonically, I would say there is a, an interesting, curious uh, similarity between this and, say, baby metal and, you know, having the very clean, produced, heavy uh, guitars along with a strong uh, but slightly more poppy sounding lead singer. 
Um, again, don't take that the wrong way. <laughs> it's not an insult coming from me. Um, there was that similarity, but there was also this thing about balancing the two singers that in a way reminded me more of the uh, vocal acrobatics of Hanabia, who I mentioned earlier, who um, they will have little bits of Matsuri singing. They'll have little rap bits in there. They'll have the Screamo stuff from, it's not Screamo, Scream, sorry. I shouldn't call it Screamo. Scream stuff from uh, Yukina. Uh, so for me, it's like, it's really kind of nice to hear that this group is picking a few different things i do feel they got their own identity i think you'll only be able to tell more of that by hearing more songs so i'm very excited to hear more songs by them as always get in the comments tell me what you think and tell me what songs to listen to next if you're a fan the name is the name short for something because stmlt is just doesn't roll off the tongue i'd love to be able to call them something easier than that um saint melt <laughs> Someone please let me know what the hell that's supposed to mean and how I'm actually supposed to refer to this band. But, good stuff. Uh, I enjoyed this. I'm definitely excited to check out more. Um, and I hope that the sense of variety that this song brings uh, or demonstrates is alive in their whole catalogue of work and that they have a real range because it seems like they've got the vocalists and they've got the musicians on hand to pull that off. So anyway, those are my thoughts. As always, like I say, get in the comments, tell me what you think and until I hopefully see you very soon in Japan for the next one of these. For now... Ciao, ciao.